So the next thing we want to do with our data is come up with some good visuals. Visuals are really important in statistics because that's usually what people are going to look at. People, uh, unless they're really interested in what you're doing, are not going to go through and read everything that you've um, that you've written. Right, but by if you have a really well done graph, it will convey lots of information. Right, you wanna you want a graph that tells a story, not just oh I made a histogram. You want a histogram that when people look at it, they see the characteristics of the data that you want them to see, that you want them to understand. So that involves a few things. Let's go back to our our cleaned up data that we had here. Okay, so we've got some numeric data, we've got some categorical data. So you're gonna you're gonna want graphs and charts and stuff in your presentation. Okay, so let's just go to graph. Let's say we want to do a histogram. I want to do it on the percentage of, of grocery bags. Hit compute, and we get a histogram here. So we get our histogram, and we can see it looks like there's what ten divisions. So they each cover about ten uh, percent. Maybe that's what we want. Maybe that's what we don't want. So you can go in and you can change things. In fact, you should change things. You should never just use the default that uh, StatCrunch gave you. So you come into options, hit edit. And there's different options for the different graphs. Like with our bins, maybe we want the width to be five. Maybe we want to try that. But what we always want to do is change these three, the x-axis label, y-axis label, and title. So this we, we want to give enough information in those three categories that no one has to ask us a question about what our data means. So percentage uh, remembered to bring grocery bags. That's getting kind of long, but we get the idea, right? And the X axis label is going to be the percentage and the y-axis label will just be the frequency, or if you like, you can put counts. We hit compute, and now see how this tells us this is the percentage of time remembered to bring grocery bags, and we've broken it up into smaller bars. So uh, we can see our percentage label down here. So you can see that uh, maybe this is not the one we wanted. Maybe we are making our bins too small. Maybe we want them much bigger. You go into options, hit edit. Maybe we want this to be, maybe we want these to be 20%. Right? Maybe that's the right amount. Uh, every data set is a little bit different. So you want to just play around. You can see it makes the graph instantly. So it only takes a couple minutes in order to find the best setting for a graph. And it makes a big difference in how professional your graph looks by coming in one, giving it proper labels, the x-axis label, y-axis label, and title, and then playing around with the options a little bit to make sure that it, it really is telling the story that you want the data to tell. So you wanna make sure that you do that. And then in here, I tell you which, which I want you to go through and make, histogram, frequency table, pie chart, box plot, scatter plot at the very least. Right, you should be able to do those. Spend a few minutes on each one trying to make it look good. You give an explanation and then we go from there. All right, thanks everybody.